setting new standards in podcast excellence. You have joined the WBT, fully focused on business and taxes. Here is your host, Michael Lodge. And welcome back to the WBT. This is Michael Lodge. When you own a business, you very seldom think about how you're leading because you're so focused on all the other aspects of trying to grow your business that you forget to even think about what your leadership ability is to lead your employees. And one of the very first questions that you should be asking yourself as a leader is, how can I help? In any sort of leadership and management role, you direct reports. The people who you are have employed, they exist to help you. They follow your directions and obey your guidance in order to continue pushing your departmental goals and objectives. Or whatever your business goals and objectives are. Whatever you've told your employees, this is our objective, you can help them. But the best leaders go beyond just thinking about what their employees can do for them and push themselves to ask how they can turn around and help their employees. Whether it's offering assistance with something small, such as a task or project that an employee might be or he appears or she appears to be having a problem with or struggling with, I'm telling you, you've probably done that job before and you can probably step in and kind of guide that employee. Or something bigger, for example, seeing how you can step in and help that person achieve their major career goals and milestones. You want to see your employees do that. And sometimes you can help in that area. The most memorable and impactful leaders recognize the fact that that their working relationship needs to be a two-way street. They know that the direct reports, or what we call employees, shouldn't just do all of their bidding without anything in return. And they're eager to see how they can repay the favor. When you help them, they're willing to help you. In fact, they'll even jump in and probably do it and, and, and work as hard as they possibly can. I've seen this so many times in my staff where you give them direction and you want them to achieve it, but sometimes you see them stumble. So you got to say, hey, you need some help, so let me sit down and help you. Ask what you can do to help. Then one of the second things is ask what do you think. In most cases, when you are the manager, you have far more experience in a certain area than the people who work for under you. That means you often get to provide direction and give that final say or on specific matters. However, that doesn't mean that you should never ask your employees for their own thoughts, opinions, and suggestions. Encouraging your direct reports to chime in and, their two, and give their two cents worth makes them feel heard, valued, and recognized. Even if you don't end up taking the route that's suggested by an employee, it still never hurts to ask them to speak up and provide input. And I'm telling you, all the best leaders do this. I always want to hear from my employees what they think, which is a better way. And I'm telling you, sometimes they come up with some amazing things that gets us to the point that we need to get faster and more efficient. So sometimes it amazes me That when you ask an employee, what do you think about this? The very best employee is going to spit it right back and say what they think. The timid employee, which needs to be developed, may hem and haw around, but you can probably get a good answer out of them if you push them. That That is the point. Is that you need to ask your employees, what do you think about this? How do you think we can do it better? How do you think we should respond to that client? Sometimes, especially me, and I'm very guilty at this, when we have a client that is a stupid client and will is a bonehead and will not do what you say, 
Sometimes my employees have come up with a better suggestion on how to get them to do it right. So it's really good to have employees that will speak back to you and tell you what they think. I love those kind of employees. They're the best. And then you have to ask yourself all the time, and I'm doing this all the time, what can I do better? Me as a manager or or a leader or a business owner, how can I do it better? You give your employees plenty of feedback to help them improve. But the most impactful leaders recognize the importance of flipping the script and asking for constructive criticism about how they can do better themselves. And I'm telling you, I've learned this the hard way, that I need that criticism. Because sometimes I am so bullheaded. Um, sometimes I'm more bullheaded than my clients, but usually I'm right. <laughs> but I try to ask my employees, what can I do better to deal with my clients? Because I get frustrated sometimes. I've had some very high-profile clients. And those clients have all these people around them who keep ask, who keep digging into my clients' personal tax business and finance business. And they always seem to have a better idea than everybody else, but they don't know a, a damn thing of what they're talking about. High-profile clients, especially people in sports, have all these people surrounding them, all these groupies and all of these people hanging on their every dollar that spits out of their wallet and they say they always have a better person that can do better than the person that they always have now and it might be their uncle it might be their aunt it might be somebody but they don't have the experience at all in the area of sports or entertainment tax and accounting so you're always having to go up against these people and it makes you angry and with me I have to hold it back and I, I've always asked my employees, what can I do better to communicate what needs to be done here? Now, with sports people, I'm telling you right now, they are so surrounded by groupies and all these people who want a piece of them that sometimes they don't listen. And sometimes you have to be dramatic in order to get them to listen. Most of the time they come around to your way of thinking. But it's all that frustration in between when you take them on as a client until the where they finally come around that you become a better communicator with that individual and they begin to listen. So ask those, those three questions. What can I do to help you? What do you think? And what can I do better as your leader to make this whole experience at our company better? If you ask those three questions, I guarantee you that you will think about your business totally differently and you will think about your staff totally differently. So I encourage you, go out today, ask those three questions, and become a better leader. That's the only way that you can do it. This is Mike Lodge for the WBT, and I will speak with you soon. This is brought to you by Lodge & Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. Call us today toll-free at 888-681-1518 or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge & Co., your source for sound business and tax services. Thank you for listening to the WBT with Michael Lodge. Join us again tomorrow as we explore more about business and taxes. Follow us on iHeartRadio and go to our podcast website at www.wbtpod.com and listen to all of our podcasts and read our blogs. 